guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. All right, let's crack straight on. I want to try and keep all the videos to five minutes or less if I can, okay? So every time I reach the five minute mark, I'm going to be saying we're going to close the video down now and we'll continue this discussion in the next video. All right, I want to make these nice and short and sweet for you. Okay, so here we are at the new timeline. I don't know how many of you guys watching this right now will have the timeline. They're slowly being rolled out. There has been some hold up to rolling out the timeline, but these are gradually coming out now to everyone. Um, your Facebook profile may look um, like the old version, which I will go in and show you in a second, but this is the new timeline. So I'm going to be really, a lot of what happens in the timeline happens on the old profile anyway, so don't worry. I'm going to be showing you how to use this, but I'll show you how it compares to the old version as well. So um, the main differences are this, we, we now have this kind of really big cover uh, photo here which can now be used for maybe a little bit more branding and advertising of who you are, who your business is. Please be careful. The personal profile is a, what it says on the tin, it is a personal profile. So Facebook are very keen that you retain personal profiles for personal and Facebook pages for business. And we'll be running through exactly the differences of those. However, when we hit the subscribe feature and I start to talk you through the subscribe feature, then we're actually going to have a look at how far we can push this cover photo as 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 far as branding goes, okay? But there are some very funky cover photos out there and I'll be showing you some others as examples. Then you kind of go through to this middle section. This middle section is where it's got about you, all the things that you want to reveal to people. And it's also got all of your different application boxes here and I'm going to run through and show you what all of these mean in a lot more detail as we go through the videos. So here I've got my friends, my photos, my pages that I like, the amount of people who are subscribed to me and I'm going to tell you exactly what that means, the places that I've been, my notes application, um, my subscriptions, uh, my music that I like, the developer sites that I use, any applications I use. So this is kind of this gives um, any advertisers and marketers a very indication, uh, a very good indication of who I am and what I like. Um, really is, this bit here is a bit of a marketer's dream actually, but we'll be running through all of this in more detail. Right now I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview. So if I click on about just here, that's going to take me through to my um, editing section where I can go in and edit all the different bits and pieces in there. Okay, so let's go back to my timeline. Um, and then as we go down, very much like the old personal profile, here is your publishing bar. So this is your where you'd put your status updates, any photos that you want to upload, any places that you want to say that you're currently at. And this is new. The life event thing is new. And I'm going to run through that exactly what that is with you and how that all works. OK. Um, but this is where you would you know, post your daily status updates or whatever status updates you want. Now the timeline, of course, is um, here you've got, you can see here, it works, of course, in times. That's why it's called a timeline. So I can go all the way back to 2010 and have a look at my activity in 2010. I could go back to 2009 if I wanted to. I don't know if you just heard that. It was a big helicopter just flying over there. Um, 2009, I can go back to 2009 and have a look at all my activity in 2009. Um, and have a look at old photos and things like that. Um, so that's that. What, what I like about the timeline is it's this great kind of layout that's uh, showing you, you know, different features. You can feature photos like this. You can have them, you know, right across your screen there, or you can allow it to kind of do this two-column layout here. Um, you can add extra bits as you go through your timeline. You can actually press plus. So I could turn, I could I could go all the way through my timeline and say, do you know what, at that time something quite, you know, dramatic happened to me. So I want to be able to put a life event or a status update or something in here about something quite dramatic that happened to me. Okay? So you can actually go back and really focus on getting your timeline exactly how you want it with all the different you know things that you would really like to focus on over your timeline so it's really quite cool the other thing just before we go is this view activity button here if I click on view activity what this does is this takes you to a very real time list of activities so you can go through this and you can decide the different things that you would like to focus on your timeline maybe there's some things that you would like to actually take off of your timeline and not show um, 
but basically uh, this is kind of like your real time activity this is everything all the activity that you've uh, you know had on Facebook tagged anything that's been tagged anything that you've posted all the rest of it and this gives you the opportunity to go through and decide whether to hide it from the timeline tag it on your profile make it public feature it all of that kind of stuff okay so as I said we are going to go through all of this um, in much greater detail as we go through and actually create you an account and all the rest of it. I'm going to take you through this step by step. Okay so that's kind of the first overview what I would like to do now in the next video is I'm going to take you through I'm going to take you to the home button here we'll click on home and this takes us to our news feed okay with our ticker bar so I'm going to have a quick uh, run through exactly how this all works with you as well in the next video. So I'll see you in the next video.